You know, this is not to beg the issue. But uh, right on after I was elected, I promised the soldiers and the policemen of the country that I will increase their salaries to fold. And I uh, was, uh, had been the recipient of so many flocks, uh, including government. But I stood my ground and told the cabinet that, uh, you know, most of all, most of all, kailangan natin ng sundalo pati matatag na polis. I knew because uh, maybe my so many years in government, almost running 40 years now, gave me the enough experience to make some reasonable projections in the future. And given the situation in the entire country, the resurgence of uh, the New People's Army, the Communist Party of the Philippines, together with the growing uh, threat of uh, terrorism, compelled me to announce that uh, by next year, and that would be around, just around the corner, ang mga sundalo, dublado na ang sundo nila. At the end of uh, the consultation, I said uh, we forgot to take one more thing, and that is the looming crisis of uh, the ISIS in the horizon. And I was right on the dot. Uh, when the emir was proclaimed Hapilon and he traveled to Mindanao, I knew that there's going to be a battle somewhere. Alam na namin. Early on, I cautioned them to just take it easy, to minimize the damage, and most of all, avoid destroying shrines and mosques because those are really holy places for the Muslim faith. And I was thinking, at the back of my mind, I told the generals that, alam mo, uh, before we really go into the actual destruction, because we have to destroy, we have to remember, and remember that there are 2,500,000 plus Filipinos outside of the country, working in the Middle East. Ako naman sabi ko, just to soften the impact of the killing and destruction, it would do as well to just avoid muna destroying the mosques and the holy shrine uh, so as not to inflame the passions of the other side. Alam mo, yung mga shrine, bas kinawa pa, no? Christianos ganun rin, when you start to desecrate these things, it, uh, it increases the intensity of hate. Kaya sabi ko, kung maari lang, wag muna. So, the war drag on. But at one time, so in the last three months, he said that uh, the mayor, hindi ito pwede ganito na lang. This has to end. And so that uh, finally broke the camel's back of my resistance for destruction. But uh, I had to give them the final decision because the war was dragging to, the, to its fourth month. May mga barret sila, we could hit you two kilometers away. Meron tayo, meron rin sila. They could match the firepower of the armed forces during the siege. So, yung mga sundalo natin, better trained, mas matapang, at uh, well-coordinated. And that is uh, also one of the benefits of uh, studying the art of war. That's what they're uh, there for. I was at the airport because I was really almost on the verge of tears always. Naiiyak ako kasi ako yung nag-declare ng martial law. And I sent the soldiers to the mouths of hell, and some of them to die. For one reason or another, that also compelled me to be there many times. 
Gusto ko nang pumasok doon sa main battle area at uh, makipagbarila na lang para matapos. Uh, winner take all tayo dito sa barila na to. Uh, those are the things that no one says that uh, you have to bear when uh, you are the commander-in-chief. Ang ano ko lang is uh, whenever I'm there, they're always happy to see me. And uh, to also proclaim my doctrine. And that is why Total Marawi is really a military camp. Marawi itself is a reservation of the military noon pa. As a matter of fact, Kilometer 1 starts at Marawi. Yung zero. Yung milestones natin dito. No? Yung... Nandyan sa Marawi. It starts with zero. The zero kilometer nandyan. It was a military camp many, many years ago. I'm trying my very best to come up with an agreement with the MI and MN because they are the mainstream rebel fronts that would want or would settle for a government that is acceptable to them. There is no way that we can find peace forever if we do not give them back at least a part of their heritage. Sabi nilang revolutionary government ko dito, huwag ninyong intindihan, malayo yan. May I, I, I build a nation. If the armed forces cooperate with me, if this is something that is good, fine, we can work together. You know, it takes two to tango. But sabihin ko sa inyo, little as I am, humble as I am, Maliit lang ako, tagadabaw lang kami. Probinsyano nga eh. Di, talagang probinsyano ako eh. Pati bunga nga ako. Pero pagsabaya na, do not ever, ever, mainit ako basta baya na ang pinag-usapan. Kaya ang, ano ang soro ko? Ako dyan, magtitingin ako dyan sa sundalo, naiinggit ako sa kanila. Envy. The green-eyed monster of envy. You know why? Not everybody is given a chance. Sabi ni Justice Abad Santo sa anak niya. When he was about to be executed by the Japanese imperial army. Son, do not cry. Not every Filipino is given a chance to die for his country.